our company does is we've developed a new technology that we call autobioluminescence. And this is basically a big step forward in bioluminescent imaging, where instead of intermittent snapshots of data acquisition, we can continuously monitor any living cell. So healthy, happy cells glow very brightly. As the cells become sick, they become dim, and if they die, the light goes out. Our hope is that we can provide a way for these pharmaceutical companies to do their screening at low cost in low Earth orbit and get better information about the safety and potential functionality of these new drug compounds. The MVP locker will stay on board the station permanently and then only experiment modules uh, will be inserted by the crew over time. And today we're so excited that the first user of our MVP payload is NASA. What uh, we're planning to do is to use the fly sort of as a surrogate uh, because you can get large sample sizes to test different kinds of pathogens and their changes as they're happening in space. So we, in fact, with the TechShot team, loaded 50 flies for, the, for this first chamber. When we get it down in a month, we expect to get at least a uh, hundred times that. We're launching seven new ways of growing plants in space. It's essentially using a plant cylinder uh, within a reservoir. It uses capillary action to bring the liquid up into the plant reservoir where there's a substrate and slow release fertilizer pellets. The seeds are up here, they germinate, they grow within the veggie unit and it's replacing the current baseline nutrient delivery system. ASIM is a payload that's developed by the um, European Space Agency to study severe thunderstorms. In particular, what we're interested in is gigantic lightning shooting up from uh, thunderstorm clouds up to, uh, to the edge of space. The things that we are looking for are really new, relatively newly discovered. So ASIM will be the first time that we launch a specially designed instruments to, uh, to look for these things uh, in space. Thank you.